name is Neve Nagul and I'm a volunteer with Transition Kerry. We are the community group that um, partners with Trinley Bay Wetlands on various projects. Uh, so we would have worked together last year when we did the Wild Bee Festival with the All-Ireland Pollinator Plan and then we did it again this year. So I suppose I'm a volunteer but helping with the organising as well. Hi, my name's Alan. I'm the ecologist at Trilly Bay Wetlands. My role is to help uh, Mary and Neve coordinate the different talks and walks going on. On Saturday, I was leading the BID, and we also walked from the wetland centre down into the town park and then back again. You can see the room behind me. It was actually full yesterday and today. Everyone's just hungry to actually find out what they can do and what communities have done themselves. Hi, my name is um, Grace Clinton and I'm with a group called uh, Fina Changing Tides. Today I was just giving a talk about um, how our group was set up and decided to try and come together to do something for declining pollinators and insects and wildlife in general in our housing estate. A lot of people have come up and, and said it was very inspiring and that hopefully they'll come back to the Wildbee Festival but also they'll go home and maybe try and um, put some of the measures in place in their own communities. And uh, yeah, it's been fantastic, uh, the Wildbee Festival. Um, I suppose and it's, it's been a safe space where everybody can get together and talk about uh, the declining pollinators and what they can do about them. I'm Susan Brown from Ballyduff Tidy Towns. I was giving a talk today on how Tidy Towns groups, community groups or anybody really can help support the rare moss cardamine. It was just so inspiring because as always when you start to have the conversation about pollinators or the rare moscada, lots of people feel the same but lots of people have different ideas as well and um, it's just all like pieces of a jigsaw. Lots of people came forward with suggestions and um, I've had an amazing day. At the Beef Festival I was making uh, mini um, rings out of willow to try and teach children about the willow that we use and the native wildlife that's here and then we were using those um, those rings to, as a basis for making mobiles by using like um, wooden beads or alder cones and all kinds of different natural materials to make little tiny insects to fit into those uh, ring structures that we made from the willow. Uh, my name is Ian McGregor and I live and work at Thorpe Brack Organic Farm. I was asked to come in and give a talk about the wonders of willow if you like so we basically looked at all the different types of willow and tried to get the relationship between them and bees, of course. I tried to put it in context, so we've tried to bring in a lot of, um, if you like, uh, craft items from willow. And then we looked at all the different types of native willows and Ozier and Bimanalis willows, which are the ones you'd use for weaving and craft. And then we looked at the willows growing around the site. So yeah, I think it was successful. Um, we ran over time and nobody left. <laughs> the reason why we are, it's important that we do these bee festivals, there's the National Biodiversity Data Centre um, started the one-off here last year. We said we'd do it again. Um, so we plan on doing it every year. They're now in Galway this year, the data centre, and they're running the National Bee Festival up there. So hopefully, the Galway side will continue running their bee festivals every year and within 10 years there could be 10 bee festivals around Ireland promoting health of meadows and protection of bees. I suppose it was our first year, it was the second year doing it and our first year doing it um, without the All Ireland Pollinator Plan being here. So we had thought we'd keep it really simple um, and we just had different uh, talks and walks and activities through the two days. Um, I think it was brilliant. We saw lots of new faces, like we saw a lot of familiar faces and then lots of new faces as well. I think we'd love to see it become an annual event. I suppose from the All-Ireland Pollinator Plan people, they ran it in Scaries the first year and it was Tralee the second year and now they're up in Galway and they were so delighted to hear that we were running the festival again and Scaries were running their festival again. So I think in the end what would be amazing is if there was kind of lots of small wild bee festivals happening all around the country. Um, so 
rather than having one big national event, you could have loads of little events happening where locals are coming together and inspiring each other. So I, I think it'd be amazing and I'm, I'm hoping, it's not that we want to be bigger and better, I think we want to have a lovely, nice, small festival that's every year, but that new people come in, but then the people who are really doing a lot of work in their communities come and, and share experiences and share knowledge and skills. And so I think it would be brilliant if it have, keeps going on, yes. So hopefully next year we will be doing another bee festival again in 2025.